All right, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different and just talk about and go over the basic restoration of an old circular saw. kind of cliche but you know they don't make it like they used to is still kind of true today there's a lot of tools out there a lot of tool companies that move manufacturing overseas and they're all about trying to cut corners and just trying to reduce the price on the tool to compete with a lot of other junk out there uh, and so I'm gonna try to breathe a little new life into this I've got a new blade for it uh, I've got a new cord for it the cords a little bit frayed here uh, and I'm gonna try to clean it up and just uh, see how well this uh, will work out for us so there won't be a lot of talking in the video, I'm just going to kind of go through the process and uh, show you what I'm doing to clean it up and um, hopefully we'll turn out with a good side. I'm going to take it apart. Um, I was going to try to get this casing all, all apart here as well and take a look at the motor inside, but uh, I'm not having any luck getting the, uh, the casing separated, so it's not that important. At this point, I'm just going to go through and get all this cleaned up, um, do some sanding and wire brushing, and uh, get some oil and some WD 40 on here and get everything kind of, kind of uh, shined back up, um, get these screws cleaned up, get some of the rust off. Um, and try to kind of refurbish some of these little rubber pieces and, and other screws and uh, get this thing looking uh, not necessarily like new but definitely in good working order so that's the idea here so I'll go ahead and get started on uh, some of the cleaning. Uh, cleaned up about as good as it's going to get here. 
Uh, there's definitely a lot of things that I could do a little better job on. There's some rough spots here and there and things that uh, I wasn't able to get to with the sandpaper and wire brush wasn't cleaning up real good. And I, I don't have a wire wheel or a uh, sand blaster or anything like that. So I did the best I could with what I had. And I think it turned out pretty nice. It's, it's cleaned up pretty good and the, the finish on it looks really nice. And I'm just going to get a little light coat of oil on it when I'm all done to prevent it from rusting back up in, in any spots and corroding. So we'll make it look uh, as good as it can uh, for being 40 or 50 years old anyway. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. I'm going to start putting things back together and I'll get the wiring done, uh, the new cord put in. And uh, hopefully we'll get, be able to test it out here shortly. this up and I think it turned out pretty good uh, it's definitely not perfect I've got a few areas to still kind of touch up here I've got some some rough spots and things like that that I really couldn't get to very well and maybe I'll get one of those old wire wheels or maybe I'll find a sandblaster down the road at uh, a garage sale and I can pick that up and fix it up also and then use it so um, and I notice there's a little bit of uh, rattle here on this guard you can hear it when it spins up and I might need to find a way to tighten that up a little bit also but just a really nice little uh, little piece of equipment and you know I'd much rather have this than go out and buy some cheapo you know 20 or 30 dollar saw at Walmart or something that's you know gonna break in a year probably anyway uh, now this doesn't have any fancy you know laser sights and all kinds of other stuff on it that I know you can get but I also don't have 200 dollars to spend right now on a saw so um, just a great way to repurpose an old piece of equipment you can find this kind of stuff all over the place. We found a hedge trimmer. It's a Sears hedge trimmer, I think, that uh, was made, um, gosh, probably in the 60s as well. And it's just a solid steel case. It's heavier than heck. Um, but you know what? The thing's been around for 40 or 50 years, and, it's, and it's, these are electric products that are still running. And you think about that. Think about the electronics and electric products and motors and things like that that you're buying today. Do you think that stuff's going to be around in 40 or 50 years? Or is it going to be in a landfill somewhere? I mean, think about that. Think about the stuff that you're spending money on. Because if you really start to think about that, it might, it might uh, influence some of your buying decisions. So even the little plastic clip on here that uh, we put in for this cord, I mean, even that thing, I, ran, I wrenched on that little plastic clip with a, with a pair of channel locks, and whatever they made this plastic out of, that's some tough stuff. So um, even the only piece of plastic on this thing is tough. But uh, I think this will work real well for me, and uh, you know it's a good, good uh, kind of framing saw, good for heavier duty stuff. It's got a lot of torque to it. It's got a real solid, um, just a real solid feeling to it. It's got a really a physical switch here, so you can hear it click, and it's really strong uh, spring in there. Uh, when you when you pull the trigger on this thing, you can just feel it. It, it just it rocks your whole arm. It's got a lot of torque to it, so real nice little saw. But uh, hopefully this inspired you to, to reuse or repurpose something out there. You know, check out garage sales and resale shops and Goodwill and all kinds of other places. You can find all kinds of tools out there, power tools, hand tools. Um, you know, the rustier the better. Grab something that's old, bring it home, fix
fix it up, clean it up. You take a little bit of pride in it, and it'll be something that you'll take better care of. You go out and buy the $20 salt at Walmart, you're going to throw it in a drawer, you're going to treat it like crap, and you're and because you know it's junk and you know you're going to get rid of it anyway. So uh, this is just a, an example of something that you can do to um, just reuse something and, and, and take better use and better care of, of things. So um, hopefully this uh, helped you out and inspired you, or if you found it informational or at least entertaining to watch, um, this uh, little saw get kind of cleaned up here and, and in working condition. If you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. Or if you have any tools that you've uh, you know fixed up, or um, if you do anything like this, or, or have questions about stuff like this, just let me know. I'd love to, to hear it or answer those questions. Please subscribe to the channel. I always love to, to have people follow along and comment and uh, love to hear your stories. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and uh, the other social sites out there. Um, I'll put all the links to that stuff in the description as well as links to the power cord and other things that I used here in the video. Um, so as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.